What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today we're back with another PSA submission return video here. Um, if this setup looks familiar, it's because this is my second ever uh, economy submission through PSA at that $50 a card rate. Um, pretty excited about this one. I pre-graded these all. I thought they could all get 10s. I thought it was a possibility. And if you've seen the title by now, you know, you know, perfect submission. Uh, we did go five for five on PSA 10. So I'm super excited to show you guys these cards. There are some very, very nice cards in here. Um, yeah, I, I kind of tried to order them by uh, least valuable or what I think is least valuable to the most valuable. So we'll go through in that order. But first off, let's just get through the uh, little statistics for this order. So you guys kind of know how long the economy submissions are taking. So um, this was a five card economy order. Uh, I got the five submission allocation through the PSA lottery that they've been doing for a couple months now. Um, and that ends up being $50 per card. So pretty expensive. Uh, with returns shipping, I think this order was $279 or just under $280. Um, so pretty expensive for just five cards. Definitely want to make sure you're sending in cards that are worth it for $50 grading fees. Um, I think all these cards are, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and then as far as turnaround time, this is way, way different than our bulk orders. This one was just one and a half months uh, from door to door. So just for the dates, it arrived at PSA on February 17th. They entered it uh, two weeks later on March 3rd. And the grades popped on their website on March 28th. And then they shipped it back to me. So that adds a couple days, but right around one and a half months, I think it's around 40 days. Um, of course, it's not even business day. So it's really, really quick if you do have cards that you think are worth it at this $50 a card rate. Um, and then as far as Gem Mint, I already kind of said it. Um, we got a 100% PSA 10 rate, five out of five PSA 10s. Um, awesome, awesome cards here. So, um, before we get into it, if you guys do like these PSA videos, please like and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. If you guys want to check out my eBay store or my Instagram, TMN underscore sports underscore cards, uh, follow me on Instagram. I'll follow you guys back and, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first card up here, the one I think is the least valuable out of the order, but again, all these cards are <laughs> kind of awesome. So this is the 2021 Bowman Megabox, Austin Martin. This is the uh, Mojo Refractor SP. So this is the image variation. That one obviously got a PSA 10 there, as all five of these did. These are not numbered. And I'm actually not sure how rare these are in the boxes. I've, I haven't hit too many though, so I think they're pretty rare. Um, of course, the one downside to this is it does not have the first logo on it, unfortunately. So his regular, regular Mega Box Refractor does, but the image variation does not. Um, so yeah, I did pull this from, I did pull this myself from a 2021 Bowman Mega Box. I was super stoked about it. Uh, I couldn't find a comp, I don't think, in a PSA 10. Um, if I do find one, I'll definitely put it on the screen, but um, th I think this goes for probably around the low 200s, 200, 225 or something like that. So not too bad. I know his value's taken a little bit of a dive since he got traded. Um, but yeah, still a very, very cool card. I'm, I'm awesome. I'm uh, really glad to have this one. Um, probably going to go on my PC, but we'll see what we do with that one. So first card up, Austin Martin. Let's get into the next one. This is going to be a rookie refractor here of Dylan Carlson. It's the 2021 Topps Chrome Blue Refractor, True Blue uh, rookie card. PSA 10, of course. I think I pulled this from a light box. It's either a light box or, or a hobby box, but either way, super cool card. Obviously, Dylan Carlson, one of the best rookies in that 2021 class. Definitely one of my favorites from that class. I know a lot of people are too high on, the, on that class in general, but um, yeah, I think this is awesome. Of course, the blue refractors are numbered out of 150, so that's 005 out of 150 there. Just a very cool card. Um, just anytime you can get a, uh, a numbered refractor and a PSA 10 of one of the top rookies, you know, you're doing well. So uh, the, as for the value on this one, I think this is around 250-ish. Maybe can push 300. 
Um, again, not many comps. These are these are pretty new cards, so um, there's not a ton of PSA 10s out there, and uh, there's not a ton of PSA graded cards in general just because they're charging that $50 card rate right now. But um, this is one that I definitely thought was worth it, and luckily it got a 10. So that's two for two on the 10s. Of course, we are going to go five for five, but still... Uh, the next one up here, I was debating which one to put next. I do have two nice ones that are pretty comparable in value. Decided to put this one third here. Uh, if you guys have watched any of my other return videos, you guys have seen this card before. It's the 2020 Bowman Chrome Bobby Witt Jr. Mega Box Refractor. And that's his first Bowman, of course. That one got a PSA 10 as well. Again, the Mega Box Refractors are not numbered. But they, are, they do have that cool mojo pattern which i really really like um again that's this is one i pulled myself actually i believe i think i pulled all five of these cards myself um out of a 2021 mega box and i do have a few of these now um which is kind of why i put it before the next card you'll see in a second but um yeah very cool card uh, i think he's he's probably the top guy out of 2020 bowman at this point uh, i just saw that the royals are going to start him on the uh, in the major leagues for the start of the season, so that's awesome. No, no sort of uh, service time manipulation there. So hopefully he comes out and kills it, and we see this card have a big jump in value. Um, right now, I believe this is doing like low three hundreds, three hundred, three twenty five, maybe pushing three fifty sometimes. Um, but yeah, really cool card overall. Um, very happy to have that one as well. Again, I have a few of those, but still cool to get those every time. And then next up, you'll see why I was debating, because it's another mega box, if I can get it away from that bottom card there. This is the 2019 Bowman Mega Box, Wander Franco, first Bowman Mojo Refractor, PSA 10. Um, this is, I believe, my second one. I think my other economy submission had one of these in there. Um, this is one that I pre-graded right in between a 9 and a 10, so I thought it could potentially get a nine but they decided to give it 10 which of course i'm very happy about um another one i pulled myself out of a 2019 bowman mega box before the prices went crazy before you know wander mania kind of hit so i'm um, hoping he has a great season of course i think he will i mean yeah he's kind of a can't miss prospect but i guess you never know in baseball as long as he can stay healthy though i'm pretty confident he is going to have a good season and a, a good long career so this is one that will definitely go in my PC as well. As far as the value of this one, it's very similar to the wit. So low 300s, 325, 350. You might have an outlier at like 375. But uh, again, once the season starts and these guys actually start playing, you know, they're playing well. All these cards are going to go up in value. If they're not, they'll go down. So it's kind of it's kind of the game we play. But uh, yeah, super excited to have this one. It's just an awesome card. Um, yeah, Wander Franco. So this last one here is by far the most valuable, by far my favorite in the order. Um, it's a little earlier than those cards in the back. And it's probably my favorite player in baseball right now. And this is the 2018 Bowman's Best Juan Soto rookie card. And this is the Atomic Refractor rookie card in a PSA 10. So the Atomics are not numbered. Um... I believe in 2018 Bowman's Best, they were one per mini box, maybe two per master box, something like that. So um, they're decently rare. They're not numbered or anything like that, but uh, they still have that cool like cracked ice sort of pattern on them, which I think is awesome. The Atomics always look super nice. Uh, this is the true rookie card too, not an insert or anything like that. So that kind of increases the value as well. Um, as far as comps, I think these go for right around $1,000. Uh, you know, could be 900, could be 1100, but I think it's right around that thousand dollar range. Um, yeah, so <laughs> this is definitely going in the PC, it's a big card. Um, Soto's one of my favorites. Uh, 2018 update, I have some of those. Um, what else do I have of his in my PC? I think just 2018 update, I don't think I have any chrome. So, um, this is a nice Bowman's Best refractor that will be going in my PC for sure, and hopefully, he continues to have a great career. Um, he's just so fun to watch at the plate, um, hitting bombs, hitting for contact, drawing walks, doing his little Soto shuffle, all that good stuff. So, um, yeah, that was definitely my favorite one in the order. I mean, overall, all five cards are <laughs> a 
really nice cards. I'd be happy to have any of them in PSA 10s, let alone a single order with all of them getting PSA 10s. So I was really excited about this order. Uh, I hope you guys like all these cards. Let me know which one's your favorite. Uh, I have a feeling a lot of you will say the Soto, just like me, but uh, let me know if that differs. Um, and then, yeah, that's it for this video, guys. Again, like and subscribe if you want to see more of these PSA returns, more box breaks, all that good stuff. Uh, we're coming at you with about, you know, three videos a week, hopefully. Um, and yeah, we'll try to continue that going forward. So that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.